Hi, welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. Today we'll create a new logo by following customer description. So here is the details given by the client and according to that, we'll develop a new logo for this particular customer. So here is the logo title given, Elite Preparatory Academy. So this logo title itself is saying that it's an educational logo and is for Junior Student Academy logo. And here is the tagline. And third most important thing is description. So what it is written, we are a small private boarding school located in Somerset, NJ with an accelerated curriculum with heavy emphasis on English teaching. Here is the color preferences. The customer did not recommend any color recommendation here. So we'll choose the best possible colors for this particular logo. So when it talks about the academic logo, the first thing comes in our mind is the book. So we can draw a book like this. So for academy, the book is the most precious element we can use. And the second thing, we can use the shield. These are the common elements used for the academy logo. This is the shield. And the third important element for academic logo is flame. The flame will be like this. When we use this flame, then we can also add light rays here like this way we can give a light rays around this flame after figuring out the key elements for academic logo now we'll draw the rough sketch so i'll start drawing a circle first for academic logo the circular logo looks more nicer and I'll draw another circle here. So that we can write text at the center. And I'll draw another little smaller circle by keeping some gap here. And in a circular context, we'll write the text. So from here to here will create the text light preparatory so here we have written the text in a circular context and at the down what we'll do here we'll put this tagline in a smaller text size so this is the initial thing we have done now we'll create this shield inside of this inner circle so from here I'll draw the shield up to here and from here to here After drawing the shield, here we'll give the common element which is normally used in case of academic institute or the school logo. So in a circular way, we'll create it by following this reference line, we'll create it. And this side also, we'll create it like this. And inside, we'll put this lamp and the sun rays and this book. So here I'll draw the flame. So while drawing this flame, let's be a little creative. Let's take up to here. And from here, we'll draw the book shape. So the lamp will remain in the midst of this book. 
and this is the book page as it is belongs to a preparatory academy for junior schools for junior students so we'll try to give some steps here at the bottom with little creativity and you can create the steps like this and at the outside of the shield when we have given the flame so here we'll draw the rays like this and fill this negative space so while creating logo make sure that as much as possible try to reduce the negative space in the logo so our sketch is ready now we have added all the necessary elements for academic logo and this looks nicer and little simple as well now we'll take this sketch to the software and there we'll reconstruct it so while reconstructing it we can uh, make it more nicely over there so let's take it to the computer once we bring our sketch to the software the first thing will lock the image so that it will not do any movement while we trace the outline now take ellipse tool Remove the fill color of the ellipse and give the outline and choose a outline color from here and increase the thickness of the outline so that it would be more visible. Using shift alt key drag it from the center and create a circle. Select this one and do copy paste in place and drag it down using shift alt key. Again do copy paste and drag it down once again using shift alt key. Now increase the stroke of the outer circle and for this one too. Now select this one and copy paste in place and drag it at the center. Now take pen tool and draw a straight line using shift key. Take the straight line little down. Using scissor tool cut the circle at intersection points. Delete the straight line and change the color to black now take this text tool and write at the top curve now drag the starting text point to the end of the curve and align center now from type option bring the text at the center of the curve and increase the font size from here edit the text just double click over the text and write your own logo title here let's increase the font size little more so that it can perfectly fit within the curve now let's write the text at the down curve and drag the starting point of the text to the end of the curve and align center now go to type type on a path option this time we'll center it and flip the text and write your own tagline here make the size smaller select both the text using shift key and choose an appropriate font for academic logo here i am using present font this is a free font you can download from the Google search. Reduce the font size and drag this one little down. Reduce the font size for this one. And now we'll increase the gap in between the text. So from the character option here, you can increase the gap value. For down text also, we can increase the gap in between the text so that it can fit nicely now it looks perfect here create circles and drag it using alt key and make a duplicate select first two circles using shift key and expand it after expanding take shape builder tool Change the color and fill the gap in between the two circles. Using pen tool and shift key, draw a straight line at the center. This will form an axis and which will help us to 
create a balancing element equally on both the sides. Using pen tool, draw the half shield following the axis. This process can help us to create shield uniformly on both the sides. And fill this with color. Now take reflect tool. Using Alt key, drag the center point to the axis and vertical copy. Now select both the parts using Shift key and unite it. Now select it and here we'll provide offset. So here give negative offset and change the color. Now select the shields and hide it so that we can see the background. Using pen tool, draw the flame and the lamp. We are drawing the elements by following the axis line, which will give us a proper balancing on both the sides. Using rectangular tool, create the lamp here. And here draw a circle. Let's make the shield element visible and give some transparency so that we can identify the shield shape and the background as well. And we can create the book shape. Now reflect the book on the other side using reflect tool. Now draw a rectangle here. And draw a straight line using shift key. And draw a few more straight line at the bottom and increase the stroke, expand it. Do multiple selections using shift key. Take shape builder tool using alt key. Delete the extended portion. Now draw a rectangle at the center. Drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate. Now using direct selection tool, select this point using left arrow key, take it towards left hand side. Similarly here and make an angle. Remove the fill color of the shapes and increase the stroke value. Using direct selection tool, make the corners little curve. Now let's remove the transparency of the shield. Select the straight line and the blue shield using shape builder tool, delete it. Change the color to white. Now do copy paste of the inside circle and drag it down. Drag the circle towards inside and make an ellipse. Now by using scissor tool, cut this ellipse at two different points. Delete this one and delete this one. Now here, draw an element by using the pen tool. Fill it with color and reflect it. Now select both and unite it. Drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate. Drag it down and make it smaller. Now select both the elements using Shift key. Go to Blend and make it. Go to Blend option and here give it tabs. OK. Now expand it. Drag it to the Brush tool. OK. Now select this curve and click on the brush. So double click on the brush and change the direction. OK. 
now it is fine you can reduce the stroke using direct selection tool you can manipulate the curve and expand it select the white shield and give offset select the curve element and the offset and delete it using shape builder tool and create a gap using pen tool let's fix this select them using shape builder tool delete it using reflect tool let's reflect it towards left hand side copy and fill this inner circle with color now remove the background delete this one let's create a circle here through which we can create the sun rays and reflect it at the back of the shield here is skew it little make it taper now use rotate tool drag this point using alt can leave it here here give the angles let's give 7.5 copy and control D and repeat the same transformation now delete this down rays which we don't need do multiple selections using shift key using shape builder tool delete unwanted area and send this one to back send this circle to back draw an ellipse at the top of the shield change the color and give some transparency bring the ellipse towards upward and drag it from the top side now do multiple selection using shape builder tool delete it remove the opacity and lock the shape so that we can take the background element at the top arrange to the front now here let's delete this and this one and instead of this we'll create an element like this now reflect it to the other side now let's apply appropriate color for the academy logo so in gradient you can mix up two three different colors here I'm mixing up two three colors to create a golden color for inner shape let's apply little bright blue for light rays we can apply gradient color let's give transparency to the color node so that we can mix it well with the background and fix the color angle like this now select this one and transfer the same race color select this one and change the color for this one also change the color and we are done here is the end product of the logo design hope you understand the complete process of logo design from scratch to the finish and here i am abul mansoor wish you all the best see you in next video have a nice day